All right, listen, before we get into this podcast, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a comment, do it for the algorithm, let's get into the pod uh, with Rice Gum. I actually learned a lot about him that I didn't know today, and he's back. He's back for good, I think, I don't know, at least for a year, but yeah, let's get into this podcast. Oh, man. Yo, I realized I, I need to start doing, like, actual intros to these podcasts, because right. I just kind of run it, I just jump in it. <laughs> I just jump in it, but welcome back to another fucking episode of Raw Talk. I have uh, one of the... I mean, I feel like you're one of the originators of just like streaming and streaming successfully. No, nah, thank you, man. People have been saying that, and I don't know. I, shit, I'll take it, bro. Like the two people I think of right away when I think of streamers, like OGs, is like you and Aiden. Thank you, bro. Straight up, I appreciate it. Um, so you're 26 now. We just talked about it. Right. What, what's what's the most different thing in your life besides the big deal that you recently got? What's the most different thing in your life right now today from like where you started? Yeah, yeah, on, yeah. On the platform, or when I met you, I guess I was like 18, 19, maybe seven forward right right it's crazy wait uh, before i get to that do you remember the first time we met or oh, the super wrong. vaguely like what do you know i think we were at that house no it, it or was no a, wait it was a party it was at some what? random ty lopez party i met you on the yeah. same day i met summer but bro that was, was literally like i don't know if that was seven years ago i think that was way more than seven years something ago. i don't know but yeah no it's it is different i guess content was like a really big deal for me like youtube i want to be the biggest youtuber i want to make hella videos and that was where my head was at and so now it's like it's a lot different i don't know i'm just focusing kind of on myself and like happiness and health and just just old old people i feel 26 i feel old he was saying how 20, 29 is when i'll really start feeling old but no i feel old now and then how you said the the uh the rumble deal so that's just been consuming me with the streaming and yeah i've low-key been curving bradley he like he wanted me like a month ago and just how, then you how ended the full sim pod before mine with Aiden, but you were in Miami. Like no, well, so that was in Vegas, and that or was Vegas. like no. And they didn't even tell me like they told me an hour before, and I was like, you know, what? I'm with Aiden already. So of course, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, I just thought it was funny. I was like, this guy yeah, dogged bro. me, and then I saw him pop up on the pod. <laughs> I cheated on bro. I cheated on him. No, it's all good. I get it though. I get it. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about like your childhood, because I do you do you talk much about where you came from? Uh, no, no, not much. I mean, I, like, I never really got too personal with my stuff. I mean, it's always just been jokes and like laughing and making comedy. But uh, I mean, before we even hop into that, man, congrats on everything, man. Are you killing oh, it? Thank you, man. And uh, congrats on the new memes, bro. That's Yo, been going crazy. Oh, the I'm 260, though, is going f No, insane. bro. And like those memes is something that you can't buy. Like you can't force it. It's just kind of out of nowhere in the street fight. Man, Yo, street fight stock went up because went of you. Way up. I got Joe Rogan was talking about street fight. Right. You saw that clip? Was that clip real? Or that was, was a real ass clip. No, it was a real clip. Sure? It, was, it was, swear to God. It's on okay. the podcast. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, no, Anyone facts, can watch it. No, facts, facts, facts. So I, I saw it and was like, oh, this is hilarious. I honestly didn't think it was going to go that big. I genuinely, when I was, when I, I text my boys, I was like, yo, I'm going to ask Nate Diaz because like the clip with Devin Haney got so, so much like traction. Right, right. Because I understand people like the oddity of like, the big jack guy versus a real fighter, right? Everyone's right. going to be so divided in that just because the weight difference, the muscle. Right. Bit. Even though everyone knows, like, it doesn't matter how jacked you are, doesn't mean you're going to be a good fighter. That's a fact. Right. But I think the oddity in it, like, gets people talking. So after that went pretty viral, mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I'm going to ask my, I told them, I was like, I'm going to ask Nate Diaz if who wins in a street fight, just straight <laughs> up. And I was like, I, I thought Nate Diaz was going to be like, you will do it right here. Cause like yeah. Nate Diaz just kind of don't give a f yeah, He doesn't. And uh, I didn't know that it was going to get the reception that it was going to get at all. Nah. I, I knew that it was going to get a reaction. I just didn't know it was going to be so much like like Logan calling me out. Right. Some shit. Random. No, that's big, though, bro. And, and that might open doors for like a, like a fighting background, yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, yeah. Or you're like in the talks of doing that or something. There, I mean, there's a lot of talks of a bunch of shit. Obviously, there's people like I do. I do want to fight. I would oh, have to train for wait, it. That would be crazy, yeah. bro. I would have to that really be train crazy. for it. Because like my training, obviously, right now is like. You know, obviously I do a lot of explosive stuff. Like I'm, I'm not just like steered away from that kind of stuff, but I mm -hmm. haven't focused on it. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to do a fight. I'd love to do something officially. I, honestly, I'd like to do something in like the MMA. Mm. And I think kind of like that almost feels like where all this in influencer fighting shit is going. Cause you know, even Jake after this fight, you, I'm assuming you watched it. Yeah. Yeah. With Nate Diaz. He was talking about doing a $10 million fight with Nate Diaz in the PFL, which I guess is the federation that he's involved in. Right. Um, so it seems like maybe it's going to start going in that direction. I don't know how many other influencers are going to be down to go in that direction though. Cause that's just like so much. Right. Are you up next in the fighting world? And no, but do in a street fight, bro, just anything is possible. I feel like me and you in a street fight, anything's possible. You, you can smack me with a rock or like a wet, like bro. Have you like, have you ever got pepper sprayed? 
No, I was gonna do that for a video once, and I was like, like "No, nah, I don't want to pepper do this. spray." And you're done, like, you like low key, if you pepper spray me, right. like if you and me in a street, <laughs> right, right, right. like right. if you had with the pepper spray, a pepper spray, and then a fucking taser to the neck, like who? Kn- it's see, no one. Ro- see, this is the funny thing. No one ever brought that kind of stuff up. Right, no one just right, thought it right. Was like a straight fight, like a straight fight, but it might, it might have been just something that was like someone could have came in and really just pulled a nine on a me. knife, a gun, anything, which is, which is game over. Nah, but e- even gun, bro. And you're like Superman and the bullets go bounce off. Of you. Right. Exactly. And the bullets go yeah. bounce off of you, bro. Like real. Oh. <laughs> nah, but yeah, congrats on the memes, bro. And that's something that money can't buy. It's just how life c- comes at you. But, yeah. and, but that's huge though. Sh- that. Why do you think that's so big? That kind of stuff. Um, it's just organic. It's like, you can't control it. Like, I don't know, like people can like, uh, like try to create like a moment, but you can't create it. It's just ha- kind of happens yeah. naturally and organic and it's, it's, it's hilarious at the end of the day. Yeah. It was so funny, man. It so, funny. so what moments do you recognize in your, like, in your like yeah. journey that were like, whoa, this stood out and became some like, viral yeah. Moment? So it was kind of like my personality. It was always like, I, apparent, I mean, like nowadays everyone wears chains and flex cars and houses, but I guess I was doing that early on with like just showing the wealth and so that like I noticed that sometimes if someone else is flexing like wow he's acting like rice gum or something like that and then just there was this thing that happened with like just just random stuff I mean you know shit like that yeah I, I don't know but. what got what got you to that point where you started making money first off yeah so what got me to that point so I actually before I even did YouTube I started streaming and this could go back to that question with the childhood thing um, I was live streaming and um, it's all about perspective. Even though I was getting 1,000 concurrent viewers and I think I was making like 4,000 a month in my senior year. Is it true that you, you bought it some viewers because like you wanted to like look? Yep. That's yep. So that I was, was, was like 2014. Damn, he knows my history. But yeah, so that's how I started. I was buying some viewers. Basically, the mindset behind that. If I didn't buy any viewers, I would have like 20 viewers. But if I bought it 100 viewers, yeah. it would show I have 120 because I was at 120 people would like like it more and so i would eventually be at like two yeah they're more willing to be like well what's this all about why are people exactly here? exactly and then i actually got caught up for that got banned twitch. on this site I, I got i got banned on twitch which actually opened the door for youtube and other yeah. platforms and so that's kind of how it all started but uh yeah it's but just pri- been, prior to that though like what made you feel like oh, i could do this because mm-hmm. i'm always curious about people's like progress mm-hmm. and that because Obviously, so many kids are going to watch this because they like love you or yeah, maybe yeah, they, yeah. hopefully they love me. Right now, they probably hate me right now because I'm talking about the street fight. And they don't right. like that. No, I think but, it's. Yeah, yeah. But where did like, where did you outside of doing any of this? Because at some point, obviously, you didn't do it. Where did right. you see like, OK, I know that I can have success here. Right. I was watching a lot of it. Like I was just consuming it a lot. Like I would watch. Just I would watch a ton of YouTube, and then I was like, you know what? I think I'm funnier than these. I think I'm, you know. Who are the main people you were watching? Uh, do you know Niga Higa and yeah, stuff of course. like that? So OG, it's so OG, like and then, the original, and, and then Nade Shot. I don't know if oh you know yeah, Nade Shot. I know Nade Shot. It was like a mixture of like the gaming and then Niga Higa with the camera, and then um, I I actually started in the gaming field and just my big brain. I was like, well, only boys can consume games. Only if you play that specific game, you can enjoy it, which is such like a smaller niche. So if you can make like a comedy video where you know, I think anyone can enjoy it, like boys, girls, or whatever, right? So uh, it started with the gaming stuff. Then I did the whole uh, just put the camera down, try to be funny. And then uh, one thing led to another. Um, but what made you feel like you could do it? Just because you saw people doing your life? Yeah, like, I was just watching it. I feel like I thought I was funnier than them. I thought, I mean, bro, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just like you have to have some uh, confidence in you. And I don't know, bro, just self doubt is crazy too. Like sometimes you doubt yourself. And it's like a mixture of both, like doubting my, my, myself, but like thinking I can do it and just pushing my limits. And uh, I mean, everything worked out. And it's crazy because I, I took like two years off from everything. And then I recently just came back. And I'll just sit there sometimes like, well, I guess this is what my purpose is on earth. Like, I don't know, man, I'm still mean, figuring this out. You mean making content is your purpose? Uh, making content and like, yeah. What was that realization when you said, this is my, must be my purpose? What were you right, talking right. about? Right, right, right. So I was away for like two years or whatever. Uh, you know how like you have parents, I have parents. I thought the next part of my life was to find my partner and like just start a family. And like, I'm still going to do that and shit and, and whatnot, but then just... Uh, when I would just sit around all day and like it is fun like uh, a retirement is fun it's amazing um, I'm excited for t- uh, or to do that again but just something about just sitting around all day and you feel like you have more to give I mean I'm 26 
uh, one day, maybe I'm 40 or 30, I'll, you know, leave forever. But uh, I mean, as of now, uh, that was my childhood dream. It was like a dream job. It's so weird, bro. It's like a dream job to do YouTube. And when I was doing it, it almost felt like it wasn't a dream job and I fell out of love with it. I don't know. I'm just, bro, I'm all over the place. Some days I love it. Some days I don't love it. And yeah. uh, I guess some people are better at pushing through and doing things that they don't enjoy. But when I wasn't enjoying it, bro, I just simply just left. And, you know, some YouTubers are like, all right, guys, I'm going to make a, fi a final video. This is why I'm leaving. And this, is, you know, but I just simply left for a while um, and came back. And yeah, now you just dipped. I just dipped for some you, reason. Did you see the? I think was it was it Jake Paul was talking about you working at McDonald's or something? Cause <laughs> like, did you had no money? <laughs> that was, I saw that clip. I was like, yo, this is fucking funny. But like, so what happened? You left for two years, and obviously you made enough money from your from your you know the videos. Yeah, seems like you were probably smart with your money, right, not stupid. Right. Wait, you didn't pull a fussy tube. Yeah, that is crazy how he said which he is, had hardly any money to his yeah, name. Yeah, he's fucking. And he blew all his money back. I know, but he was killing it too. Wait, do you ever have a feeling where you're like, you know what, I don't feel like doing this shit and like you want to leave or what? You do? Bro, I'm 34. Yeah. Are you serious, dude? I've been doing this, I've been doing YouTube for fucking 11 years now, I think. 11, God, 12 damn. years. I've been doing the internet f like since 2011. I've been on Instagram. Damn. Oh, yeah, no facts. So I've been doing YouTube after I did Instagram. So not that I like want to leave. For me, I was able to figure out like, like this stuff, for example, the podcast, mm -hmm. like an evolution mm. of what I was doing on the internet. And this is something I feel like I could do this forever, right? So, oh, really? Nice. Because I actually just genuinely like understanding and trying to understand people. Talking so, and human interaction and it, yeah, it was my just brain. a matter of, of like the evolution of my content. Like, do I want to do the same content that I've done forever? F no. I don't think anyone would want to do the same thing they've done. Like, dude, gotcha. you know how many videos I film? Like, this is how to do a proper bench press. Now it's fucked up because there is a whole new every year, like a whole new generation of kids yeah. that are coming up into the, you know, the fitness arena who are like, I want to learn this. And because I'm not making current videos, I'm mm. not necessarily reaching those people. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. just kind of making this style of videos, which is still really beneficial. And I think it helps a lot of people, but it's just a different version, like a different iteration of where I'm trying to go in my life. Cause at the core of it, I really do like love people and I love helping people because I've been in so many places where like I really just needed help. And yeah, that's why this is simple for me, because it's a matter of like trying to understand what your process was to see what made you successful, because that's like most of these people will watch this video is because they love you or they're a fan. But like I would say specifically nowadays, most kids when they're like, yo, what do I want to do with my life? They're like they want to be on the internet like that yeah. people aren't which is a weird thing and we could talk about this as well oh no actually bro we don't need more youtubers bro we need doctors and plumbers and <laughs> exactly nah, i was kidding but yeah no it's a weird thing man it's like no one is growing up anymore being like i want to be a police officer and i can't say necessarily no one because like obviously this is still happening but like i think if you ask most kids nowadays because like you got to think these kids from like inception like babies their parents are like here's an ipad they're like this their whole yeah. life yeah and now they're like oh i'm gonna be a content creator it's That's crazy the world yeah. right now is insane but let's not get too deep on that we can go into that later let's That's talk cool, more cool, about cool. like your childhood like My childhood yeah, yeah did, did you grow up with like a super happy home or like what was yeah, that no, of like? course and uh yeah no and i did actually have a good happy home i had a good high school experience and now that i'm older i'll talk to people and they like got abused as a kid or had like a hard upbringing so that gives me a whole nother perspective because when i was growing up i thought everyone just had it so or, i thought everyone's childhood is super just easy and then after high school is when life starts getting harder but as far as most people people i thought everyone just had it easy as a kid which isn't true and stuff like that but yeah no i had it really easy i had two loving parents uh no divorce and shit like that um just i played basketball i think that really helped me a lot with uh meeting people and feeling like confidence i felt like if i didn't make my high school because like on the high school team only there's like 12 kids or something like that even with the a middle school team there's only 12 kids so if i weren't to make that team i think i would have like lost confidence or something but or it would have taught me something i'm not sure but i just always have gotten kind of what i wanted um i wanted to be on the basketball team i was I, that helped me meet friends uh a lot of these, bro, like, I don't want to sound racist or anything, but the black kids are just so funny for some reason. And that's where a lot of my humor come from is from the kids and joking around in the locker room and stuff. And so um, I played basketball in high school. And that's all I really remember from my childhood, just playing basketball and just having a good time and sleepovers with the homies. Uh, just a really happy childhood, really great, great energy. And then my senior year, I was supposed, that was my time to shine. I mean, my whole um 
a year I was kind of on the bench or whatever, but senior year I would have started and everything, but I actually didn't play basketball. I started doing the whole YouTube shit yeah. because that was uh, just seemed more important. You know what I mean? But uh, I mean, childhood can't really think much back, just playing video games and playing basketball with my friends and shit like that. Yeah. 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 So when you start getting into streaming, like why do you think people picked up on you so much? Like why do you think you got popular? Right. So Twitch, so Twitch nowadays is very uh, like, in real life, personal people uh, are showing like, I mean, how do I explain it? It's like real life content nowadays on Twitch. Back then on Twitch, it was a rule where you had to play games. Like if you didn't want to play games and if you just wanted to do full face cam, you would get banned on Twitch back then. There was an IRL? Stream? There was an IRL back then. It was like against the rules. What the fuck? Yeah, you probably, no, like literally I remember having my face cam and like I want to do IRL content. I was like, all right guys, I got to play a game because Twitch, you got like, you got to play games. So um, I would have a borderline of like playing games, but also including the real life content, like calling people and uh, just prank calls and trolling and stuff like that. So what year was this? 2014. You had to be one of the first people doing that. I think, yeah. yeah. I, th I mean, just Aiden says it all the time and he'd be happy, man, man. Shout out Aiden, shit like that. He's the big homie and shit. But uh, yeah, that's what he'd be saying. So I, yeah, so I was doing that and then. Um, like you originated it. I guess, I, yeah. bro. They keep saying that, but like you did. I, I, I remember know. seeing it like way I back in the day, like because you're because because I didn't even realize that there was only like you had to game on Twitch. I thought like because I started seeing your stuff. Yeah, I knew that you played games, mm -hmm. but I thought that like you could also have sections because right now, obviously, there's sections where like I can just stream IRL and no, just talk so shit. So now they included that, and so, so you made them start the section. Maybe, Damn. maybe I don't know. No, nah, guys, I don't know. No, but there was other, you know, people <laughs> humble, humble. And stuff like that. No, it's yeah, fair, stuff fair. Like that, stuff like that. But yeah, so so you started catching on because it was just like just candid, real life shit. It seems like. Um, I forgot what it was. Oh no, yeah, no. So here's sorry. Like I'm thinking because like my first viral moment, I jumped out of a pool and was like, oh, this shit's cool. Who like, you? Yeah, where Jumping you jumped the, like. I think I saw it, like, jumped out the pool into the thing. Wait. No, jumped out of the pool onto the side. Like, yeah. four and a half foot pool. Like yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. I and it went I viral. Guess. Like, well, the first video that really went viral was that. Okay, okay. For me. Because then they're like, because prior it was like, oh, this guy looks cool because he, like, he looks he looks good. And then he, like, did some cool shit. Right, and right. Went viral. No, no, so no, what was your first moment? All right, so, boom, boom. So, I actually wasn't good at games. I was actually not that good, good, that good at games. So that's why I had to do other shit. Now that I think back, like why I did other shit is because people were only watching the most cracked out guy that was so fucking like good. Like I wasn't that good, so I had to do other things. Uh, my first viral moment, I think it was like 2000, I don't even know, like 15 or something. Um, I called Mia Khalifa on stream, which is like some porn star. Yeah. But like I was like in high school still. And it was like a 15 minute. How'd you get her number though? Right, right. So there's this Twitter account called Meninist. If you're watching this, shout out to you, bro. I, I don't even know why he pulled the string for me, but it was like this Twitter account that was big on Twitter back then. Now, now there's way bigger accounts. But at the time, he was the he was killing it on Twitter. Uh, she she was rocking his like twi Twitter merch. It's like the opposite of fem uh, the opposite of feminist. It was Meninist or something. Which I, <laughs> like I don't want to get canceled or anything. No, no, I don't know. But he connected the dots with me and Mia Khalifa. I don't know why. I mean, it was easy for her. She was like in the bed, just FaceTiming. Like it was just really simple. Had a 15 mi a minute convo. And then that was like the first viral moment. Um, and then in the streaming world, which in my head at the time seemed so big, but compared to, to, to the YouTube shit, it was like tiny. Minuscule. It was very tiny, and we can get into like the YouTube. We will, shit we won't. Yeah. But let's talk about the idea of being canceled because your reaction is pretty funny, like not wanting to be canceled. Like, um, do you th really think that you could be canceled though? Like, unless you said something really fucking foul. Right, right, right. Nah, I mean, I don't think people care that that much about me. And I had my fair share of moments. You said uh, I don't think people care that much about me. Yeah, no, yeah. To not to cancel someone. To like, cancel. Like it just you know it just matters when you're like so important. Then they like find every reason to you know pick apart you. But as of now, I could honestly say anything, and they really wouldn't you know what I mean care. Yeah. I feel like, but no, I'm not I'm not scared of getting canceled because your core fans and your core people will yeah. understand if it's a joke or you know they understand your personality yeah. and. It's crazy for people to sit at home and like know your whole life and know my whole life, but we don't even know them. We don't right. even really, we've never seen them, but they know, 
you know, I, everything about us, you know, shit like that. So. Yeah. I had a kid come up to me today at the gym. We're from a content. He said he's been watching me since he was 15 years old. Mm-hmm. He's like 25 or something, Jake. What was he? How old was he? 26. 26 years old. He's been watching me since he was 15. And like, that's, that is such a crazy concept because this guy came up to me and was like, bro, you inspired me to like open my own supplement store and like do the social media stuff. And I Damn. just want to say thank you. Mm-hmm. And it's such a crazy thing because it's like you're reaching people that I, I never even saw this person, never met this person, never said a single word to this person. He came up and showed me so much like admiration and love. Right, right. It's honestly the biggest blessing like in this whole game. Have you ever had anyone come up to you and say anything like that to you? Um, like I'm streaming because of you now, I'm doing this. Yeah, I mean, besides probably. the fact that I we do have to put it here, like you ate, said Aiden said it, I think there's a lot of motherfuckers that have come after you that have right. like not taken what you've done and did it right, on their own, right, but right. like you, you did set a little bit of a blueprint. Nah. Aiden did say that where he like like because I would like call girls on stream so he was like I inspired him to do that but like I'm sure they have but like I honestly forgot like like not not one of them stuck out I mean I'm sure f- like f- fans have came up crying and stuff but I can't I could do my memory is so bad I can't I can't <laughs> yeah. I, I, like I can't think of a story like yours where like I opened up a slumberman store because of you like I'm sure they've said yo I started YouTube because of you and stuff but yeah had nothing too crazy you know shit like so that. let's let's talk about the canceling thing the because like you saw fusi react to the saying the n-word when he was when yeah he, he was said saying, fuck he was so no. destroyed. <laughs> yeah. but you that's think it, like live. warranted a response like that yeah well it's live so uh when, when you're live you don't even have a second to think like oh my god what, what should i do so it's just live and i guess that's why i like live streaming is because it's all like if i were to say something on accent on a podcast i'd be like yo brad could, could you yeah. please you know, yeah, take yeah, it yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. but as far as him it's just all live uh no nah, but i see where he's coming from i think he doesn't want to be seen that way like i mean just us creators are so worried about how people see us and how what people think like oh my god i hope they don't think i'm racist or i hope they don't think i say that on my free time so he he was just really back uh, backpedaling and uh, you know trying to not do that because you know yeah but i think he also like he's because he had so many ups and downs he's a, he's such a high moment right now like because he's doing this 24 7 streaming shit i see him everywhere right on the first week of that streaming shit, he was kind of like just high energy and stuff. But now that we're 30 days in, he, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not like a psychologist or anything, but homie's been kind of tweaking a little. Yo, bit. Yo, like, I just wanted to talk to you about like, it. Like kind of loud and excited. I mean, like I said, I, I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's okay, but he has a past of kind of yes. going crazy. And I'm going to have him on the pod. I want to talk to him about his this. manic moments and stuff, but. I don't know. I kind of see it sl- like happening, but I don't know. I you mean, think I it's guess, slipping a little bit? I don't know, cause he'll, cause he'll, cause, cause he'll like freak out on his like cameraman, and he'll be like, "No, what the hell? What the?" You know what I mean? So it's like I, I don't know if it's an act or if he's really like that. But his energy is crazy, and he's a lot older than me too. And you know, now I feel like I'm like old, where like I, I just don't have that energy to be giving it like that, like to like just put my whole energy out so, there but he's doing it like yeah just, this is what i find so interesting because you definitely do bro you what, do do what you do have that energy like i know you do there's something else because like if he can get it oh yeah yeah. he's that dude has gone down up down up down up more yeah, than yeah, any yeah. other youtuber i know yeah, yeah. you have it it's just, just something that's it's just there. don't feel like doing it like just but why do you think why like i guess i guess i want to kind of go back to like when you quit mm, like Mm. why did you fully quit and just like dip like what was right. the re- real you just burnt out on making content no nah, i think it was a happiness thing it was like damn i want to be happy i like i've always lived my life like i do whatever i want like if i feel like doing something i'm gonna do it like i get whatever i want that's just kind of how my life's been and so we just got to, to the point where like like oh i made so much money i've been doing so good like what am i doing being unhappy and doing something that i don't want to do like in and, and and i just I just didn't want to do it, and like I still don't want to do YouTube. So I'm I'm just blessed the Rumble deal happened. Shout shout Rumble and shit like that, and um, I actually enjoy live streaming, and so that that's where I'm at. But my yeah. bread like my bread and butter at the time was YouTube, 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 and uh, it just it just stopped being enjoyable. Maybe it just felt a little fake, like how they don't want you to curse and do certain things, and I felt like self censor uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah, like censor more than it, ever now too. It, it, I mean, I think every platform, even TikTok, be censoring yeah. like. You know, yeah. stuff gets taken yeah. down if you say certain stuff. Um, so it was mainly that. Just like I felt like I wasn't genuine. And uh, I mean, everyone 
everyone has a YouTube personality. Like when you're like, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Like no one talks like that. No, <laughs> yeah, no one yeah. really, you know what I'm saying? So that was my whole life for like four or five years straight. I was in LA. I would wake up and breathe and sleep YouTube. Um, no, all, yeah, also too, I was in a content house for a while. And so we were out of the content house. Uh, it, like it went from like, damn, I got to make these videos alone again. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just not do it because I just I just don't have to do it. I don't yeah. know. It's a weird feeling and not like like it's not a flex to be like, yo, I just quit. Like I don't give a fuck. Like it's it's, it's not a flex because ever since I quit, everything went da downhill as far as views and stuff, right? So it's not me trying to flex on anyone, but it was just an inner thing of like I just don't feel like doing it, so yeah. I'm gonna just not do it. And it does make a big difference to have like a group to make content, Bro, especially after you've done it for so long. Game changer, and th that's what I'll say to. I guess creators coming up, maybe some hometown friends or you collab with other smaller streamers, but getting in a house with people and living with them and making videos is a game changer. I think Kai is one of the biggest creators right now and he's in a house with his Huge. homies. So that might be the trick. If you don't have got it figured out, maybe get into a house with five homies and then that's going to figure it out for you. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, Kai, recently you saw the New York thing. Like how many people swarm like New York City? Yeah, that's craziness. That is like a craziness. different level of people, man. It that, was like 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 insane amount of people. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if if he expected that, but he had to expect that. Right, right, right. Like it's not. So like, I I see stuff like that and I go, right. Honestly, I would have done the same thing. I would have said, "Fuck it." Like let's see what happens, and if the cops come, this is good for content. Right. But now um, he got consequences and stuff. and Now he I, does have consequences. I yeah. guess if his excuse is like, I didn't know I was that famous. I didn't know. But then people are like, well, Drake isn't tweeting out his location or, you know, Jay-Z no, is fucking isn't. famous, bro. No, exactly, exactly. But just, it's crazy. He had to have known that. He had to know it was going to be nuts, bro. That was actually insane. And I think all, 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 all the vandalism and shit, that shit looked That's like the BLM up. movement out there. It looked crazy out there. <laughs> with the, yeah, with like, the, bro, dudes were raiding stores and That's shit. That's fucked, bro. It looked like a movie. Those motherfuckers need consequences, bro. Yeah. They can't just use, like, chaos to be like, oh, I'm going to do some criminal shit now. Dude, and they'll be throwing shit at the cost. I think they were pouring water on them. Why do you think people go crazy like that? When it's just like, yo, come here what you came here for. You try yeah. to, cause they try to win, what, some, like... Some computers or some shit. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of them are with their friends, so they got to act. They get all hyped up. And like, I'm gonna destroy some shit, bro. And in their head is like, there's so many people. They won't even know if I did this or if I, you know, crack this window. Like, who would even really know? And I don't know if they are getting consequences. I think they're all falling back on Kai. I think they're blaming everything on Kai or something like that. That's what it looks like. It's I like, mean, it's that's his kinda... fault for inviting people out. Yeah. There. I mean, I don't think they're naming these individual kids who are like jumping on cars and shit. Yeah. Uh, the Ace family dude, uh, uh, Austin or whatever, he did like a meetup on rodeo drive i'm not sure if you heard about that but he did it a while ago and it was like not an organized thing he just tweeted out and then the rodeo drive was kind of like like just hella people running around traffic was all stopped and then they had to like send cops and there was helicopters and i think he ended up being fined like fifty thousand or something like that yeah. so something like that might happen to kai yeah, it's light for kai though right fifty thousand. you know what i mean whatever but yeah i mean it, but is it light though fifty thousand is a lot of money. oh that's a fuck ton of money right 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 that's a ton of money no that's like like crazy with like mr beast and these youtubers making the value of money just just not even a big deal like people think like 100k or, or, or like so so they see 100k so much or a million giveaway that they might not even think 10k is a lot of money but like bro 5 10k is actually yeah, a lot of money I'm glad like, you mentioned that it could fix someone's you know life or whatever so just the like the clickbaitness bro, is ruining it, everyone's conception. the extreme shit is ruined is the conception of money because yeah. 10, 5K is a lot. Even one, two thousand. I mean, like I said, I'm humble and shit now. You feel me? Shit yeah. Like that. Well, let's talk about that a little bit for you. You got a, how much was your deal for with Rumble? Yeah, no, I never even said anything, but it was a multi, a million dollar deal. And it's enough for me to fucking, I took a two year off. Like it's enough for me to come back. You feel me? Like it's yeah. enough for me to, oh, it's worth it. But can we do above or under? Sure, bro. Okay. All right, guys, quick interruption for the podcast, Manscaped. Now, check this out. I've talked about this before, but I promise you, I've been getting so much better at my own grooming routine, except, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I clean my beard up. Obviously, it could be a little bit cleaner. Uh, I shaved my head today. I just forgot to shave my nose hairs. The cool thing about Manscaped is they have not just like tons of products to like clean your body, to wash your body, to like clean your hair, to clean your face, to shave your balls, everything. The products are also just really well designed and like the accessories to charge, everything is like 
they kind of, this one works for that one. It's like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a very well put together product line from like top to bottom. So I fully recommend it to you guys. I use it literally every single day, um, if not like a couple times a week. Cause honestly, I, I grow a lot of hair. I, as you can see, I need to cut this. I haven't cut it yet, but I've, getting, I've been getting better. And I think it's really important to create some sort of groom routine because I'm gonna be honest with you, every time I get a fresh cut, every time I have a fresh beard cut, every time I feel like clean, I honestly feel way better on camera. I feel way better in conversation. So I fully, fully recommend you guys taking good care of yourself. Obviously like having some sort of routine and how you do it and Manscaped's got your back. So if you guys wanna get free shipping plus 20% off your order, go to manscaped.com, put in code raw talk, support your boy. Again, that's manscaped.com, code raw talk, 20% off plus free shipping right now. Do it, let's get back into this podcast. Uh, oh, total deal, how, how many years is the deal? One year. Oh, one year, fuck, okay. Um, Bro, let's, you pocket watching. Honestly, I don't want, don't want to do this. It's just enough to, you know. God, like, I want to know enough. so bad. No, nah, but even with like Aiden stuff, when they were saying like 100 mil and 50 mil and 80 mil, like the headlines might have been false or not false. I mean, I don't know. It's just people throwing around numbers, but it's it's a good few million, like more than I was honestly a month? making on YouTube. A month? No, a year. A year. A, a, okay. a year. A multi-million dollar deal. Yeah. But it's like, even in the NBA and stuff, if dudes are getting a $20 million deal, it's like, it's not just given to you. Like, you have to show up to practice every day, take care of your body. Yeah, deliverables. You know, do the hours. So, like, I have to do the hours. Well, you like, might not, be the best thing that, I'm. I'm because I, I've obviously, I'm really good friends with Steve Will Do It. Made a lot of content with him over the years. I got the shirt on. Yeah, you too. might be one of the best buys that Rumble ever made. Thank you. Thank you. Because I like of your, that. No, seriously, because of your consistency and like the fact that you're you're streaming every day, right? Um, well, I owe them X amount of hours, so it's it's depending on how I space it out. But I know how many days a week do you stream? Um, I'll do like six days a week. And you're like how many hours a day? Bro, this dude, uh, like uh, like five to eight. Yeah, bro, you're five, five, yeah, five, you're yeah. you're the best. I think you're one of the best buys I've ever bought. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Yo, CEO man, hey, you heard that? No, you're, real you're, shit. You're, like you're, I'm you're, looking you're. at it. You, you are because like you, your consistency you. and like drawing the audience in. Because I'm assuming every time you're posting, like, come watch me stream. Or whatever, right, 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 right. Yeah, by far. Because I think didn't they do like a crazy deal with Kai and Speed? They did, and it's like a once a week little show. Yeah, I think it's like twice a month, right? Exactly. So that so that's why they switched it up with me, and, and they wanted more consistency. And no, everything works. Like I think they're happy. I think I'm happy with the amount I received. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not trying to make it about. I'm just curious. It's all good. It's all good. You to come back, but no, like I'll tell you off. I just didn't want it, like everyone knowing and shit, because there are in the talks of other creators like coming got it. on. They don't so want to. They're like, but no, but Rice got X amount, so I should get. Hundred you know I mean? percent. I understand shit, that. Shit like that, but I get it. Nah, well, I, let's switch I, it a little bit. So I'm happy, man. Yo, know, and and, I, and I'm glad you're back, because I I honestly like you. You were a fucking, you're a dope creator. And Bro, you have I would for, always see Bradley around LA for the longest, yeah. like years and years. And honestly, when I left is when you kind of popped off e like e even more. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. now you're at a different level than when we were for hanging sure. around. Right. Yeah. For yeah, sure. Yeah, different yeah. Level. But that just shows the, like the power of consistency. Like even if it takes you five years making nothing that, that six years might be it for you. Like you never know. Uh, just, you know, shit like that. Um, and I think the evolution of like, like, figuring out what else you can do and how else you want it and also timing man because like i can't say that i would be right here right now at the level that i'm at if it wasn't for this podcast of being something that people wanted to see mm -hmm. right because because podcasting eight years ago wasn't a thing it was but it wasn't what it is today right you know what i'm saying so right. regardless like yeah people been doing podcasting for that long like i've been doing podcasting for almost five years now on my own pod and i just was on and off on and off and really? then i've been consistent the last year two years now with right. this pod damn i didn't know that it was five years now yeah because I, I when i first opened my gym i was like oh i want to have a podcast with my friends and then it didn't work out for timing and people moving around but i've been trying to do podcasts for a while but what i'm saying is the success in the podcast it's like a podcast timing right now which also i want to talk get into our next topic for yeah. you this clip community now, like the like internet is clips now. So you doing the live streaming for, you know, right. five six hours a day, whatever it is, you get because I see so much of your content now. Right. Because you whatever right. clips, whoever you're working with, it's, it's doing a good job. Um, but what do you think, like, because this is the crazy thing about the whole clip like era is like we could have a full conversation, say like a bunch of really useful shit, and one thing will get clipped, and then they'll be like. This guy's a dickhead. This guy's smart. This and it's like, or yeah. they'll make an assumption just yeah. off of that. Yeah. Versus like seeing the whole piece of content, and most people will just see that viral moment and not see everything else. Right. Right. So clip 
clip era right now, there's good and there's bad. So I guess the good of it, if you look at someone like Andrew Tay, I think he blew up straight off of clips and uh, no, it's good for a discoverability. Like if you're a new creator, like one of your clips can just go crazy and it's good in that sense. The bad I think is it is like people intention span is very, is is not good. Like back then, like 2000. 16 2017 people would sit and watch a full 10 minute video from my youtube like yeah. people would sit and watch a youtube video and i feel like nowadays they they wouldn't even last they skip through it they watch it with 2x speed or something yeah. and they'll skip to the end so uh cl- i mean th- th- there's good and there's bad i consume it also so i actually enjoy uh, the clip era because like a live stream is five hours and it's at a certain time so you might miss certain shit so um i think it, i think it's dope that you can just you know see stuff and with just a discoverability like any content creator right now recommend you do the clips like back then i'm telling you like a 10 minute video like it doesn't take 10 minutes to make it takes like a few hours and you have to edit it and stuff like that chop, you know chop, and chop it up whereas a clip literally is like a 15 30 second thing it's so easy to you know do so um yeah but that's where it at and like bro i don't make the rules it's the game and i'm just kind of following the game it's just we're trying to you know in a game we have to try to win and so that's kind of why i did the whole clip thing and been seeing how it is but it's just it's just crazy and maybe in a few more years things change or things always change things are always up and down things are cyclical yeah up and down but also like eventually come back around like at some point like fashion everything everything goes like this everything is like it's cool and then it's not cool he's been around more like he's like 30 so he's seen it he's seen it go in circle like i haven't seen it i feel like because i feel like vlogs on youtube are kind of dead because of the clips because people like would much rather just watch a few seconds and then laugh whereas a 10 minute thing like you have to in a 10 minute video like each minute might be boring but like in the middle of it is when something good happens or at the end of it something yeah. good happens so people just want to skip to when something good happens yeah. so that's just the I mean, life you can even see in. that on youtube uh like when i look at analytics you can see watch time on the video and you see like people just go to that point like literally like the, the watch time of of how many people are here you see the, the the rise and fall of like when people fall off we're cooked they're going to that moment so this is the thing i wonder like we're cooked yeah what's happening to like people's attention spans and just like abilities to like actually learn instead of just hear something and then because this is what in the big picture the thing that i think is happening is like we're conditioned to not really care about anything because yeah. like something happens we go like let's say you died to be like man that's really sad rice come died love this <laughs> content go. and then like fucking what three hours later we're like all right, whatever. Next well, who's clip. next? Who's next up? Next up? Next up? Like That's all this nice. shit. Like we hear about aliens. We're like, yeah, I bet we knew that. Okay, next. Like, damn. Everything. Like we're conditioned the, to just that like, shit hit me deep right there because like something like uh like those famous deaths and stuff. Like I think there was a death recently with that guy and Euphoria or whatever. Like Fed yeah, or whatever. Yeah, Angus Cloud. But it's like I saw it like a headline a few days and then on to the next. Like you're just left in the dust and it, like it's bigger than social media. It's like I'm talking about like if you were to die, guys, like life just moves on. Like people really yeah. don't give a fuck about you unless you're Michael Jackson or something. But even someone like Michael Jackson, like new people are born and they don't even really understand Michael Jackson. They're on to, you know, the next big artist. So I don't know. It's so it's scary. You can look at it that way where life like will just forget about you. But then again, it, it could make you not give a fuck and live how you want to live because no one really cares and if you die then no one will even remember your little a mess up or your little thing that that you did so you might as well just live life to the fullest and just you know what i mean yeah like, let's talk about like that, that a little bit i think that's a really important conversation i think uh i think i think a lot of people live kind of like based on what they think other people think they should do like family or yep, like you yep, should yep. grow up and do this and uh it, it should really highlight the fact that None of that shit really matters. It really genuinely matters how much happiness you can create in your own life. Yeah. Doing the things that you're doing, whether you're famous on the internet making content or not, like do the things that really make you happy. I think that's the only thing it really highlights. At the same time too, it highlights that in people and also meaning like when I say highlight, meaning it should, it should be the thing that you're focusing on is like, okay, if my life can be, is finite because all of our lives are finite, right? This is shit. It's not going to last forever, no matter who the fuck we are. Yep. But we should focus on what's really making me happy. Not necessarily like go do anarchist shit and crazy shit because, oh, that makes me happy in this moment. But like what's going to give you happiness in this moment, but also that you could work towards something that continues to make you happy. Right. So that's not going robbing a bank or some crazy shit. <laughs> but that 
and being as present in the moments with people that you have in your life and like yeah. sharing love yeah because that's that's truly man like you've made all this money you have money like what really matters in your life now right. like what do you think you look for the most when you feel like what yeah. gives you the most value in your life now it's not yeah. obviously making money is cool because you got to pay your bills right. back in a game you're streaming oh i got a big bag it's dope <laughs> but like beyond that beyond the money and this is true for everyone listening like damn, what yeah. do you actually go towards what really makes yeah. you be like oh man this is good damn no nah. it's not just more yeah no I'm, i mean that's a deep ass question um I mean, yeah, money and shit like that. You know, we want to survive. So I'm just, I'm honestly been preparing for just my like 50s and 60s and yeah. just putting away money for that reason. But as far as that, just how you said, just human interaction, your friendships. Uh, I want to say shout out to my friends, bro. I actually had some good friends just when I was gone, like people like Banks and Aiden and, you know, Summer, Alyssa, shit like that. Like they'll always like call and like lift me up. So I would say friendships and human interaction and also my family, my uh, like my mom and my dad. Um, and that's basically it. Like I don't even know, like I can't even get too deep. It's just very borderline just the, my friendships and family, you know what I mean, yeah. is important to me. But also for myself too, like I think taking care of myself, uh, being healthy. I mean, I think I saw a statistic where it said 40% of Americans are overweight. And I think, no, no, sorry, 70% of Americans are overweight and 40% is like o obese or some shit like that or something like that. So um, just fucking taking care of my health so we can have a good, healthy life. Cause as soon as some, cause like, I think we just take good health for granted, you know, oh, how, how we can yeah. breathe out our nose like, oh, but we don't even think about it. as soon as we have a stuffy nose, then we're like, oh, fuck, I, I wish I could go back to breathing normally. Right. So yeah. we we take that shit for granted and we take a lot of shit for granted. So now every day I wake up and I just kind of try to soak in everything. And I don't know. It's weird. I have to like uh, remind myself to be happy and remind myself like, yo, things are going good. You have to come, you know, look at this person. He, you know, he has to work a nine to five. He has to, he's hardly making it. And you know, it's, it's, it's just weird how the human mind works. We, we just take shit for granted sometimes. So, yeah, we do. um, you know, to what, to, do you recommend doing anything to really, you know, tap into that type and being grateful for life? Cause some days I just, I just don't even like, I'm not so grateful when I know I should, like, I know I should, but some days I'm just like, it's just another day, you know, yeah. it's just shit like yeah. that. I mean, this is definitely something I struggled with for a long time. Cause Fact. I, I like, I focused so much on the stuff I was doing and just doing more of it. And like, I I've talked about this before on podcasts, but I didn't create space for everything else in my life that really mattered, like relationships and like really good friendships. Cause I was so like focused on having success to some degree that I thought was like, okay, this is good enough now to have, which is a, an endless cycle of something that you can never fully, you never fully get it. Like if your focus is just success and having success and like mm -hmm. creating wealth, it's never enough, you know? Um, so I would say until like my, my late twenties was that, did I start to really recognize that? And it started to really shift the way that I was like looking at friendships and relationships. And in a lot of cases, man, I was a little too late on certain relationships. Like mm. you lose friendships, you lose really good relationships because mm. you know, of the mistakes that I had made in those relationships and, and friendships. Yeah. Um, but the things that I recognize now that have really helped me to slow down and appreciate mm -hmm. all this shit that we're talking about appreciating is like really simple shit that ironically enough, I did before I had success. Mm. Like I would, I would do simple things like write down my goals and like, okay, what do I want to achieve and how do I want to achieve it? Like write down what I wanted my life to look like. And I would spend so much time doing that and like reading that. And I was like, I'll read this every morning and think about this. And, uh, and then when I started chasing it and not going back and revisiting those things or continuing that kind of stuff, it's like I was getting closer and closer, but like at the same time getting farther away from like what I really wanted as far as happiness. Cause like I just, when you start living down that it's never enough and just more and more and more, it's and you weird, don't have like bro. a, it's weird. Yeah. It's very weird. It is and, weird. And, and, and so writing down goals and okay. writing down like it's journaling sounds, you know, people like to make Corny. fun of me yeah. and shit. They're, they're like, Stein likes to make fun um, of me. But imagine like, seeing you big as fuck or writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's why it's funny. But like genuinely writing, putting your thoughts on okay, paper okay. is one of the most beneficial things because it's, it's unfiltered truly. Like you will, you're not going to write something that's like fake. You're not going to fake yourself out. You right. know what I'm saying? So if you write something on paper and you say, this is how I really feel right now, whatever that is, you're not going to like make that up. 
All right, guys, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Really quick interruption. This is important. I've talked about this many times, obviously. And, I, and obviously, as you guys know, I talk about mental health pretty much all the time on the podcast with guests, my own, in relationship to everything that's going on in my life and everything that's gone on in my life. I really, really do actually recommend working on this side of yourself. I think for a lot of people, specifically a lot of men, it's it's like maybe just kind of can seem like, oh, what is the benefit and, and how is that going to help talking to someone else? I know there's been moments where I was like, eh, I don't want to talk to someone else because like I know I just need to do this. I know I just need to fix this. But I promise you, it does help to have someone outside of your circle, like to have a conversation with to give you an unbiased opinion. BetterHelp's got your back. They got professionals. You can do it all over like a Zoom call, basically. You can do it from the privacy of your home. Give it a shot. If you guys have been thinking about working on this part of yourself, again, mental health is everything. Without mental health, we don't have anything. So understand that. If you want to get 10% off your first month, go to betterhelp.com slash raw talk. Again, that's better, H-E-L-P.com slash raw talk. Um, or like the link should be like right here on the screen. Let's get back into this podcast. It's just a weird, it's just, you're, no, you're, it's no. not going to happen. I'm gonna so try that. I'm if gonna you read something. it, then after you write it, you'll look at it and you'll be like, oh, this is, this is really how I feel. Mm -hmm. And then it gives you perspective that maybe, cause in your mind, if you sat here and you go, no, I'm happy. I'm good. Everything's good. I'm, I got some money and this and that. But then like, yeah. how do you really feel? Yeah, exactly. You know? nah. So writing things down is a big one. Bet. I'm going to try um, that. I'm meditating. Gonna Ooh, like just closing your eyes and breathing and shit. Yeah. Or different forms of it. Like even sit in a sauna like different versions of it i think the thing one of the biggest problems in our life is this thing bruh really i know it's so dope because like the internet and we can make money and all this and are people consuming content it's dope but like this could be one of the most detrimental things in our lives they said we got smartphones but we dumb people type yeah, shit yeah bro. but nah i'm already know uh, do you know your hourly screen time uh bro i don't want to look how, i don't want to look, I'm I'll look right it's now. eight because mine is like a seven eight hours which is that's kind of crazy honestly I'm gonna look like bro. you're awake right for now? like 16 hours or 12 hours. A How day. do I even find that? Isn't it an app? Uh, you should go into settings and then type in. I'm gonna reveal time. it right now. Settings and then screen time. Let's see if, if mine pops up. Screen time. Why can I not find it? Or that? just search screen time at the top. Yeah, I'm doing it. There's like a search bar. Let's see. It's just on screen time. Dude, why can I not find this shit? Look, I feel like a fucking old man, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? See? Huh. That was not popping up right away. Oh, there it is. You had it. Oh, yeah. what the hell? Okay. The, is it loading? <sighs> it's loading. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of afraid to see this, to be honest. What is your shit? I don't know. It's loading, too, but... All right, I'll let it load. Like, I know mine's from past and shit, and it's like eight, eight hours and shit like that. Yeah, but it's like... We're, oh, mine's... Okay, mine's... No. You said 12? Guess mine. Six. No. Guess it. No. Four hours, 18 minutes. Down 60% from last week. Okay. Okay. Well, 60% well, means last week was 80 or like eight, eight hours. Eight hours. Fuck. Like so that. that's the thing, man. I, I don't think people recognize what it's actually doing to them. Right. Like, and which just, is crazy to talk because like we're in the position of like, oh, please watch our content. Watch more of it. And it's helpful, right? Because views and all this shit, conversion. And we're, and we're telling them not to. like. Stop. But we should kind of like, I think that's one of the major things that I've realized. Like, for example, waking up in the morning and it being the first thing that I do is such a terrible thing. Like, you should go outside, get some sun, like figure out what you're trying to plan in your mind for the day, what your goal is. Instead of like open up, look on Twitter, and you see all the negative shit. And you're starting like from from square one, you're like negative shit. And that's yeah. the direction you're going to move in the day. I mean, at least you're self-aware of that shit. And it's crazy how like if we get 100 comments and one uh, or like a, like 100 nice comments and we get one bad one, we'll Bro. like look at the bad one. And I literally saw a LeBron James do like the same thing. He was walking out of a game. He was walking into like the tunnel. I was like, oh, LeBron, I love you. Can I get you? I love you. I love you. And he just walking straight. And one guy saying, yo, fuck you, bro. And he turns around. So it just, it just shows that like, you Human know, nature. yeah, we just yeah. will, uh, just focus on the bad and uh i mean as long as we're self-aware we'll, we'll, i think we'll figure it out eventually you know so i don't like know that. you just die if not <laughs> i mean you die anyways but you know so yeah. so what do you what do you think you struggle with most just as a human okay yeah yeah so right now i mean or me and my stream i joke about it but i got really bad posture for some reason like <laughs> no bro yeah, I'll, oh you do dude i'll stand you do yeah you do. I have bad posture too. It's no, the phones, dude. We're like this. No, but like, bro, it's like bad, bad where like there's a picture of me and it just looked really bad. So I think <laughs> posture is one of them. 
and then just balance like uh sometimes like um if i'm doing content i'm like all about content where like there is a balance where you can do content and you can have some health and you know yeah. stuff like that so i think just balance um uh, posture and um just just staying positive like so sometimes you get in your head and self-doubt and shit like that but all these are things are just like on and off like some days i'll feel invincible i'm cocky as fuck and then some days i just don't feel that way yeah and, uh, i you're mean fucking human I i'm figuring it out guys i really am and I, dude it's so crazy because when, when i was on that crazy youtube run for i think from 2016 to 2020 i legit felt invincible i felt like superman for some reason like every yeah. day i was waking up happy as fuck and stuff and then life kind of kind of hits you i mean i was dealing with some personal shit all, you know also um and so that's a main thing like you, like i don't I don't really like, oh, if my vids don't do too well, like I never really got too down and about about it, but some shit in life you just can't control and, uh, you know, just life be hitting you sideways sometimes, right? So Yeah, what were you dealing with then that was so fun? Um, so did you see my last YouTube video? I don't know if you Your saw Your very last YouTube that you yeah, posted yeah, or the yeah, most yeah. recent one? My most a recent one. I didn't watch it yet, no. Okay, so... Uh, um, me and me and my girl were supposed to have a kid and shit, and then oh yeah, yeah I, know. I, I saw this. I heard like about that. this, but yeah, so that just been fucking me up, you know what I mean? Which, I mean, I guess you can kind of learn from the situation. You can't control that though. Yeah, true, true, true. But I mean, it's just sad shit, right? It's just I'm just sad and shit. Um, but like, we're gonna have an, a kid in the future and shit, and then hopefully that fixes you know that mindset of things you know yeah. shit like that but like I, I was trying to experience new, new, new emotions and i think being a dad was like a new emotion and a new experiences for me and so that kind of didn't happen and i mean you just can't plan your whole life man i just had all this plan like yo i'm gonna plan i'm gonna make all this money i'm gonna save up all this money then i'm gonna go find a girl then i'm gonna have a kid and it's like you really just can't plan that type of shit so yeah that's just how shit be sometimes yeah it's all where you place your energy because that's the thing like it's it it's a it's an interesting realization like i think i for sure pictured my life if i look back on my younger my younger like childhood and my upcoming in my 20s i thought i'd be in a different position now as far as like uh having a family would be oh, i thought okay. i would be i'd be closer to that um not that i feel like i'm so far away from it but you know like i said earlier i i was so focused on just like being having certain things and like this idea that almost felt like eventually what I realized and recognized looking back was it was never going to be enough. And it was just a matter of like taking a, a full dive in and just saying like, okay, this is what I want, like to have a family and to like be in a strong relationship instead of yeah. making sure like I had everything ready to be in the right moment, to have the right thing and to be exactly ready for what I thought I wanted it to be. Um, so you were talking about like re like trying, trying to have a kid again. Are you, are you like actively yeah. doing that? <laughs> Am I actively doing it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were, so you'd want to have a kid. If you could, I mean, like, like when I did find out that I had, or that I was going to have one, I didn't like tell anyone I kept it low key. So it's going to be something like that. Like people won't even know. And then, it's going to just pop out, uh, you know, shit like that. But yeah, you're not going to do it as like a fucking content exactly. player. You're not going to be a so family creator. I'm going to just figure it out with that. And no, because, you know, I think as humans, we're going to always try to find ways to make us happy. So if this content shit isn't going to make me happy, then I thought doing this or, you know, having a family was going to, you know, do that for me. Um, do you see yourself do, uh, uh, doing that soon? Like getting a girl Bro, and getting I want her pregnant? So yeah, or yeah. Th that's your next plan and shit like that? Yeah, I mean, this is the thing though that is so interesting. Like what you just said about something else making you happy. Mm. And that's the thing that I've, I find really interesting because I, for a very long time, like I lived that way, but it was about money, making money, this is gonna make me happy. Or like having someone in my life this way would make me happy. Cause like, I'm, I'm not trying to challenge you on that idea or that, that thought, but I, I don't think people find happiness from being like, you know, that me having this is going to make me like externally make me happy. No, true, now, true, true. You know, but I, I was just thinking about my day to day. I think your day to day is going to make you, you happy at the end of the day. Sure. So, so if your day to day is just not doing shit all day, obviously you're not going to be happy, but doing the whole streaming thing has mm -hmm. made me happy because my day to day has been better. I've been waking up feeling productive then putting in my hours in. And then at the end of the stream, I kind of have that, like that one second, like, ah, oh, I did good. Like I Pat did work, myself yeah. on the back. But I think the day to day of raising a kid and being there for them, I think that day to day would, you know, make you me find happy. more like the in that. daily schedule. Like I was excited to include that into my daily uh, schedule and uh, just, 
just like with because I made money at a young age. I think I was like 18 when I started making like 100k a month or some shit. Yeah. And um, yeah, you you just get like you get used to it and you then get numb to it, and you always just chase something else. But I don't know. I think I think having a family is dope. You know, your parents, my parents. You know, everyone go, go, uh, goes through it where they find their love of their life, and, or that's the main thing too is finding the right girl. And uh, yeah. bro, I I could not find the right one for a while, but this current one, everything's good. We're fire. We're on the same page, and she's letting me do my streaming shit and everything. So everything's been good, and uh, we go. You know, we go see. Yeah, let's talk goes. about that. How do you know? When, how would you know when someone's the right girl? Like, how do you know? Right, right. So when you don't have to change yourself, you can kind of be yourself, and uh, she just lets you kind of do what you do um, and shit like that. And just seeing, I mean, if a girl got OnlyFans, like I, I, I don't know if that's the right one or not. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> those are your goodies. Like those are those are yours. So it's like everyone is accessible to that so my girl doesn't got that so we're, we're good on that sense it's just so normalized nowadays that you know have a have an only fans and shit like that but just uh just shit like that man and just their intentions i think some you know might like just like an example of my last girl just some small shit she would do is like just point out stuff like yo look at this couple doing this or look at the and it was like it's just it's just toxic shit and like small fights and shit. Like so, things that they wanted you to do. Yeah, exactly. So it was just like me being in bad relationships made me be like, all right, I'm gonna find something that's not that. I'm gonna find something that's more like this, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. But like from bad, like past a relationship, I'm finding stuff that is the opposite of that bitch type shit. Yeah. Like you know, you're shit. learning. Exactly. Yeah. But if we're on the topic of my ex and shit, because. That bitch owes me money, but don't you got a girl that owes you some bread and shit? Uh, <laughs> I kind of felt like you maybe would talk about it because I saw you talk about this in a clip. With the, the, the yeah, so thing. I mean, it's like technically, does someone owe me money? <laughs> you know, I just want to thank you. Gotcha, bro. I think you know. I think that too because she recently went on a podcast and they were saying stuff about how I like blew her up, and she was like, "Well, actually." He he only got me to one mil, and then I actually started doing good on TikTok after. But it's like all you could have just said was thank you. And what if you blown up on TikTok well, this is, is from the initial push, right? But it's just like yeah, exactly. Like more gratefulness. Like yo, thank you for that. Da da da. But it's just how bitches be, bro. Yeah. Entitled and ungrateful. And bro, shit like all, that. and bro, the I'll thing, spit the on worst part no, for me is. Oh, what'd you say the last time? I was joking. I was joking. The worst part for me was I said some shit that was just because I was having a conversation with Rain. Okay. And I just said some shit that was just true, like about the figures, about her living here, moving here, making no money, then eventually making a ton of money and being like, okay, now now you didn't do enough for me. And that's what really fucked me up because I said that. That's all I said, right? And then I get this whole like, yo, he did this and he did that and all this other bullshit that comes along with it because she's trying to protect now her face, like her image. Right. All I said was the facts. And the thing that's interesting about it is like anyone who watched that over time, who saw the relationship, like, bro, this chick was in all of my videos. She was yeah. in videos with me and Steve. Yeah. She's doing stuff with Stiney, Nelk, all this stuff, right? Right. You would see the relationship be like, wait, what the fuck? Like, it's, it was clear how much was given. And then to be told like, hey, you didn't do enough for me is like, wait, because now that you have it, it's not enough. And that was the thing is like, I said that. And then she said some, a bunch of sideways shit about me to like, try to make me look like a bad guy, which right. is like, I get it, right. but it, it does suck. At the end of the day, it's just, it's just a shitty situation. Like me knowing too, like truthfully the shit behind the scenes, like just so much shit. I don't even, it's just not even worth talking right. about. And at the end of the day, y'all were like friends too, right? Like, well, like bro, like friends. that's the thing. Like she had terrible, like sleep anxiety, she had terrible anxiety. And it's like, I was like, Helping her out with this shit, and like doing all this other stuff, like, like it, not the internet, shit. not no, the internet. Right, no, I'm no just it. real life shit where it's like she's dealing with all this extra drama in her life, and I'm trying to be there as now, not just a business partner that you, you know, we we but had this friend. relationship, no, exactly. but as a real person. And then it's like, damn, to go through all that, and then hear like, oh, well, you did. It's like, bro, what the fuck? Just you're mad because I told the truth, and everyone's like, yo, what are you doing? Right. And it's just silly. It's dumb. Nah. And and so. It just made me like, but the thing, the thing about it is too, like <sighs> a part of me also is just not surprised. Like I've been in the game long enough to right. know that like this was a possibility, it you know, and you, you just want to think that it's not going to happen to you, but bro, that's, it's just, 
the part of the game. It happens to everyone, man. It happens to like guys signing guys too. Like it's it's not even like a girl thing or whatever, but it just happens to yeah. it happens. And like I did blow up a girl and then so I blew up a few other ones just on some side just projects that people probably don't even know about. And uh it's just a fun little hobby and obviously it includes what money and stuff, so it's you know, it's good, but I didn't really pursue that side of the, of the career, like of blowing people up management because of how tricky it is to like people always like things will always go south at the end of it. So it's I never just, enough. I just don't even bother anymore with signing people and blowing them up and stuff. But uh, I mean, it's fun. You know, I think about it's still a, doing it. though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do still think I'm like, eh, maybe I'll do this. But then but then I yeah, I'm a little bit like a little bit like, uh, do I want to deal with that sort of because. The problem with it now is like once you get big enough where then people can use you as some sort of like, like speaking point to try to make you look stuff, bad yeah. so that they can like pull you. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. as far as oh, I can put them in a title and I mean, shit's been around forever, obviously. But like right. that's when it gets tricky when you're like, if you're going to go down that road and if you're so big, you might as well just say fuck it and just not do it at all. Damn. So how do you. So you did do that one girl that we just talked about. And then now I think you're working with that Sarah girl, right? Or something like that. Sarah, Sarah's honestly just a friend, a friend of mine. I'm not gotcha. working with her like that. Oh, no. okay. Okay. She's I mean, a person. It almost seems like it's like, seems like the old situation where you're putting her on the map a little bit. I'm definitely, I mean, we're definitely making content together, but the difference between Sarah is like Sarah, she's, I don't even know how to say this, but she's just about it. She's loyal. She like works hard. Like she's putting the effort into energy. Like there's, I can't even deny like the effort that she puts into her herself doing all this stuff is just different. Right. Right. You know, but how do you find them? Like you, do you find them just on Insta? Or something? Well, I how found do- her. She literally, she replied to like a, I, dude, I think I made a video with Diego. I made a video with Diego where he was, uh, he was in the back. He was like, he had like a gym couple. It was like a gym couple, him and uh. like some girl. And then my reaction was like, oh man, like it was a TikTok that I made where I was like, oh, I want to, I want to like have this, you know, like, and you see a couple and you're like, ah, oh, and you look sad because they're behind you and like, they're happy and you're not. And you're like, fuck it. You leave. That's what, that was like the bit. Right. And she responded to it and was like, I was like looking for like a gym, uh, couple or gym yeah, partner. Yeah. Right. And she responded and was just like, oh yeah. I was like, yeah, come work out. She had like a thousand followers. Right. Right. And she comes and she, the reason why though, like, the, cause you know, when you meet someone mm. and you know, like you probably know right away, oh, this person could be really good on the internet, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so you felt that way. About her. Really felt that way about Dude, her. You, so I, I was like, damn, this shit could really blow up if she just did. So I told her, I was like, yo, you should start posting content. Like, how are you posting? And I was like, giving her all this advice. And she right. was like, I don't really want to do it. I'm kind of going to school. And I was like, well, just try and post your fitness content like on your actual Instagram instead of trying to post it. Like, cause she would just post everything in stories. Mm-hmm. I was like, you're not gonna get reached doing that. Gotcha. And then eventually she just started blowing up cause she started doing that, coming to the gym, working out, filming content. No, but you got the formula down, bro. Yeah. Con- like the gym plus, you know, that type of thing. Nah, bro, I'm excited to see who you blow up next. Who we get up next, huh? Uh, who's yeah. next, yo? Who's and- gonna not say thank you next, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, but yeah, no, hit Bradley Lyon type shit. If you try to sign a deal type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, cause I mean like it's fun. It's honestly fun. It is I, fun. Cause you do, like you do know for sure like i would probably know like you'll meet someone you'd be like oh this person could really do it yeah because there is that is a certain there is a certain thing about a person yeah and, and, and you that's, feel it on the first encounter and stuff like that no yeah. i, I could have sworn you signed that sarah girl I th- I, or that's what i thought or that's what probably i mean i'm, I'm sure everyone knows her because of you and shit but it's it just how matter. life be it's yeah just how life we're gonna be. do we're gonna start a podcast too i'm excited oh uh-huh, yeah me and her that one obviously you know. so it's like a mutually be- you know the beneficial yeah. i fuck with her she's a real good person now you're actually a good person then for doing that because me me, me personally nah she like she gotta sign something you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, shit yeah. like that shit like that yeah i don't i don't i don't mean i get it i get it um for me, it just kind of came about in a way where I was like, it doesn't, it made sense for us to continue cool. to do what we were doing. But no, you got a good heart for that then. I appreciate sure. it, man. Um, so let's, t- let's talk a little bit more about you and, and your like progress and all this. Yeah. What, what were the shittiest moments for you coming up in the game? Cause was it, was it dealing with shit like this? If we're talking about like the girl shit and leveraging you or no, nah, not, 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 not even, that's just not even a big deal. You know what I mean? It was like some side thing, like a side quest, a little that? side quest. Yeah. But the hardest thing was, uh, let's see, I think just like, uh, the, like, okay, well it's like a personal thing. I don't know if anyone like knows this, but 
when I was doing YouTube, like I thought I was doing good. Let's say I had like 10 mil subs or whatever, right? Um, but Huge. Yeah, I just didn't feel like YouTube like didn't reach out, you know? But like I would hear, just because I was friends with other YouTubers, I don't want to throw anyone underneath the bus or anything, but some other YouTuber that I was friends with hit t 10 mil and they invited him to the offices. They had a cake for him and they had all this shit, you know what I mean? L yeah. Like a day planned out for him and like, you know, whereas mine, they just sent like a fucking play button in the mail or some shit, right? Are they, I know there's little uh, creator workshops and just shit, but I just felt like they they didn't even like like me or whatever. And so when you're on a site doing good, but the site doesn't even really rock with you. And so you start seeing them like even with ads, like, bro, my ads really weren't that good. Like, you know, let's say a person gets a million views. Like I would see other YouTubers like, uh, inside their settings, right? Let's say insights, yeah. Yeah, let's say a, a mi like a one mil views, they would get like seven to ten k, whereas me for one mil views, I would get three to five k or something like that, right? So it would just you be like they were a, targeting you. I, but that, but then again, it might have been my fault for being edgy or cursing, and it, I wasn't brand friendly or something like that, right? Yeah. So I mean, it was just that, like battling that, like just like a. Like I'm battling the algo, which you don't even understand the algo. It's like a computer generated algorithm. So it was just battling the algo and just, I, I was just tired of playing into the algorithm and I just wanted to kind of now on the streaming thing, I can kind of just do what I want. Like I don't have to watch what, what I say and stuff like yeah. that. So I think that was one of the biggest things. It's just like, uh, just although you want to make certain type of content, like the, the higher ups kind of control everything, kind of move around your videos a certain way. I, yeah, I mean, I don't even know itself. if I'm yeah, even yeah. Uh, making sense, but they pick and choose who's in the front page and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, I just felt kind of unfortunate that they didn't really rock with me. Uh, but, you know, it is. Why, why do you think they wouldn't have rocked? Just because it's like the edgy content? Well, so how I blew up was I was uh, making these roast videos. So oh, I would man. like... I would just roast someone and like, I don't know, just everyone like was so positive. So my thing was to kind of be di uh, different. So, I mean, it's, it's just fun, you know, just little banter, a little bullying on the side, you know what I mean? So obviously that doesn't look good, you know, yeah, promoting that a person. So funny, though. Thank you, bro. Thank <laughs> you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you all remember the Jacob Sartorius kid? I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like that dude actually helped me a lot. That that, that was one of my, or, we, or you were asking about like what blew me up and I told you about the streaming thing. But as far as the YouTube thing, this little 13 year old boy he was like this little at ass the time. kid yeah at the time and like because i made a roast video on him and like bro he didn't even need to react to it i i, I don't know why he did but he did and obviously he's 13 so he he like he's not the best at cut like a, a rebelling back or whatever yeah, no so, rebuttal. Uh, a rebuttal so his shit was just corny and so we were just going back and forth but that was a big a big uh you know thing in my career was uh, piggybacking off of what him. is that guy doing now exactly no i mean bro when he was doing really good i think i think it was musically at the time it was like he was doing really good people were calling him like the next justin bieber and shit because he you know he had that like cute what that cute a uh, white boy phase and he was doing his music and shit and he was doing really good and just fast forward a few years um you know it's just not the same you know it, i mean but that's just the internet you know what i mean yeah. like i don't want to shit on him too much i hope he's doing good and shit but uh compared to where he was at you know, he didn't, re you know, uh, go crazier, but yeah. that's just how it goes ups and downs. Even with TikTokers, man, some TikTokers blow up and then you really don't hear about them yeah. much anymore. What so. do you, what do you think makes people stay? Like, why do you think you were able to come back from a two year hiatus and still stick and stay? Right, right, right. Um, this is really important. Cause obviously people will be like, Oh, I want to do this. What, what's important? Yeah. I think being different, just being, being yourself. I mean, it sounds corny, but just be yourself. I mean, I just been myself. So that's just what it is. And, um not just not bro i don't even know I, I can't tell i can't tell you why people like me or whatever but some advice for people is just to be themselves and uh if if you're faking some something or something else it's gonna it's gonna be really exhausting kind of keeping that image yeah. and keeping that same thing so i mean i'm sure you got the same energy with just being yourself and sure. whatever happens happens you know what i mean yeah. shit like that I mean, especially when you do it for so long like you don't you don't have a choice right it's like you you're either just yourself or you're trying to be like someone else because you want this sort of success but i guess when i look at my my career besides youtube like specifically on instagram there was no one I, like i'm 2011 doing instagram like there's no one crazy. to look at 
You know, yeah, YouTube, crazy. the people that I looked at would have been like Fousey tube. And he was someone who helped me out greatly in the beginning. Oh, yeah. On, yeah. Yeah. He, he actually, and I've said this before on other podcasts, but I can't wait to have him on again. I said this on his podcast. I did with him like, I don't know, eight months ago, or whatever, but yeah. he, he promoted my YouTube channel before I had any, before I had any videos back then. I got 25,000 subscribers from him, from him, what? zero videos. What? That was when he was like the biggest YouTuber in the world. Yeah. That, and so I had 25,000 yeah, subscribers with zero videos, Damn, I didn't know but that. I had like a little popular Instagram page for a time. Yeah. And that's how I got to meet him. But yeah, man, like I think people just fail to recognize that the, the sustainability and all this stuff is not in just looking at other people and saying, Oh, he does that. He does this. He does this. I'm going to do this, this, and this. Cause you're constantly playing catch. Like you're constantly yeah. playing like, Oh, what else are they doing? You're constantly looking at where for you to go next. And the thing is like your genuine like reactions. And those are the things that get people to be like, Oh, I really fuck with this person. Right. Because ultimately it, it whether you're like in a fitness creator or like a streamer, like people have to fuck with you as a person. Mm. Otherwise, like they're eventually going to be like, okay, I'm in and out. Like, okay, yeah. one and done. There's someone else, someone else, someone else doing yeah. the same shit. Especially if your your whole setup was copying someone else. Yeah, no, for the like for everyone that just wants to be like a creator, I guess it's like the lifespan is not that long. Now that I think about it, like Bro. people go up and down, like yeah. you know what I mean. And 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 some people are able to bounce back up and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, it's just. A few like four or five years and you're out of there shit like that i mean that's from my experience i'm sure there's a few exceptions that you know they stick around but for the most part with what i've experienced they are it's learning how to reinvent yourself in and out in and out shit like that yeah yeah like so what do you think what do you think i mean are you just you just came back in the game from the two-year hiatus like doing the same shit you were doing prior or what are you doing different now Right. Um, kind of just same shit. Honestly, I'm just reacting, streaming that I'm just calling people and just sticking to what I know. I do. I do want to do some IRL stuff, kind of like Fuzzy, like just walk around and do some shit. But like, bro, I'm like introverted now that I figured yeah, I it feel out. That. I noticed that. Like, I'm like, like, it's it's funny that this is my career path because it seems like you have to be such a talkative person. But uh, and I guess when I was in LA, like when I did live out here and I would live with Banks, which is like the opposite. I mean, he's like, he'll talk to anyone. And so um, he, he just him, like, cause there was just always parties at the house or I was always invited here and there. I would feel the need to like come out of my shell and like um, just like force conversation or force to be social. But now that I'm older, I'm just I'm just kind of accepting the fact that I'm just just a quiet person, just real, just t to myself. Yeah. It seems like shit, bro. I'd be shy and shit. I don't know why, bro. That's just how that's just how I was designed. Yeah, nothing mm -hmm. wrong with it. Who knows? So you don't see yourself being able to do like the walk around streams? Oh no, like I'm gonna do some shit like that eventually. But uh, you know, I'm I'm just figuring it out right now. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, style of it. Um, what do you enjoy doing the most right now then? Yeah, just the streaming. Just sitting there talking to the viewers. It's besides, like besides besides work. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well, it just has a human. <laughs> yeah, it's just my whole brain is work, work, yeah, work, yeah, yeah. bro. It's just weird, right? Like our biggest thing in our life is work. Like that's just what it is. We're conditioned to we're conditioned to feel that though. But yeah, um, nah, I like hanging out with my girl. Um, just chilling, bro. I don't know. Now that you asked me this, I don't really know. I That's just be fun. existing. I, I just exist. You know, I'll wake up uh, like on a day that I don't stream. I'll kind of wake up um, this past because of the rumble and because I'm kind of back in the mix. This past month has been more active. I've been, you know, me meeting with more creators and doing more stuff. But uh, when I would take an off day, I would just wake up. I would honestly just lay in bed for a long time. I don't know why, bro. I just like staying in bed. I like just <laughs> yeah. laying in bed. It's just That's comfortable. like a form of like anxiety. Oh yeah, that is a form of anxiety. <laughs> oh, shit, I don't know. Wait, do you do, do, like I do that? Where yeah, you just bro. Stay in bed for like an extra one or two hours, just in that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a form of anxiety. It's relatable. It's relatable. Yeah. But yeah, I like staying in my bed. Then I wake up. Then I've been trying to gym more and shit. Like uh, trying to get into it. Um, I don't think I. What eat are you avoiding? Stuff. Huh? What are you avoiding? Oh, what do you mean? Like in the gym? No, what just in life. Like staying in bed. What are you avoiding? Yeah, I don't know. Something. What, Something there. What I'm not trying I to get avoid? so deep. No, on no, you. get deep so I can have these uh, questions for myself. I don't know what I'm avoiding, but... Uh, do you I, think you're avoiding anything or just like... No, 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 no. I just... Just, you just really just like being I weigh out my I weigh out my options so I'm like, okay, I could be in bed or I could go do this or I could go do that or I, I can Why go do this. Why don't you just this? go do it? I know, I know. Well, what I was about to get to is 
the bed feels be- like sounds better than anything else that like <laughs> I'm weighing my options do I go do this or do I lay in bed honestly the laying in bed seems a little bit better right now but nah I- I- I'm gonna figure it out bro I'm gonna figure it out with shit like that you know bro it's I- so I- funny like, so, yeah it's so funny is it funny yeah, yeah, yeah shit like that nah um but nah I've been trying to dude I weigh I'm 6'1 144 you gotta yeah I, I know you've been you've been talking about working out is I've that seen bad your uh you're pretty skinny. It's not bad. Yeah. Like, it's not what I would want, but that's the preference. <laughs> it's not what you want. I'm just saying, like, you Damn. know, 260 over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> 260. I'm not saying you got to be 260, but, like, if we got in a street fight, I'm fucking you up. 260. You know? Nah, he right, he right. You remember when I would, dude, I would come to your gym here and there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, I will come to your gym. Yeah. I actually cut my eyebrow yeah shit. you remember that oh yeah it was yeah. summer summer was there yeah, yeah yeah it was like some high jump shit you like you jump up and you touch something i guess i got the craziest hops i jumped and hit my eyebrow i don't bro. know you got a scar bro i could have sued bro and shit yeah you could have yeah. fuck thank god you didn't nah, I did. um yeah. damn that's funny man now i totally remember that you were there with summer yeah yeah summer's what's, the homie and shit. what's your relationship with her like yeah no we talking stuff now just text here and there uh she's been busy with her work and stuff she's a real one yeah she is a real genuine person um now i've been i knew summer for forever and on the first day i met her i met you so i guess yeah. i guess you're as close to me as summer than i guess yeah, like on the literal first day I met Summer, I met you that day. I forgot who else I met that day, but but you got you were closer with Summer. She, yeah, you know, we were roommates and shit. And nah, she's dope. She helped me so much with uh. So I actually my on YouTube I started with setting the camera down like boom camera down, and then I would have like a like a notepad of things to talk about. So it would rather be like a person like you're ro- like you're trying to make jokes about a person or or whatever. But I'm stationary at my desk. Um, creating a video. It would literally be like a 10 minute video of me just sitting there talking. And so I did want to do vlogs and I just didn't really know how to approach it. And just with how I guess the algo works is like if you do a vlog with another girl or something like yeah. that. So she helped me so much with that. She actually opened the door up to vlog and we had like a whole year of just doing r- random shit and like vlogging. How did, you, how did you write down the ideas? that you had like uh, how did you know okay i'm gonna write this this is gonna you know pop right so each video was designed for a person like that so that was my thing back then was like uh roasting someone like i would yeah well actually i was like smaller than like everyone that i roasted back then i was smaller than which is funny so i would kind of use their name to like kind of hit a cloud chaser literally bro Let's go. and the fact that i passed those guys from doing that method is just crazy but that was the thing i would use their name i would be like roasting so and so and because that person was had a few million followers people would tune in to, to see the i mean people just like seeing the bad people like to expose videos yeah and, i mean like i got i got a few now on there of just like what happened to rice cream the fall off of rice cream and like those videos do good like people just yeah. want to see the downfall That's probably what i'll probably title this fucking <laughs> shit like that right this shit like that yeah but uh yeah it's just been a crazy run man it's been and like and the fucked up thing is i feel like it's been a long journey but we're honestly just getting started like there's more like i guess it's been like what is it i don't even know like like seven years but there's seven more years and seven more years and seven bro that shit doesn't end yeah it feels it's weird because the space itself social media obviously so many more people are in it now and it's like so hyper competitive Mm. but like regardless this 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 like I, I don't know i feel like so many people grew up like like i said i had that guy who came to me and was like oh, i watched since i was 15 and i don't see myself stopping this kind of like no matter what i do like i'm just going to continue to try to evolve like because right, I, I enjoy it too. i actually enjoy this shit mm-hmm. no so i enjoy making some f- format of content but do i know what it's going to look like in five years exactly obviously not like i don't know what it's going to look like but i do really enjoy trying to figure shit out i mean it's just like a whole different version of business right no, I, like you see how like you know like Gary Vee and Andrew Tate like th- these guys are rich ass men p- pushing forty and shit old as fuck, but they see something in making content or they see the value to yeah. being on the internet. Like there's currency where you make money and it goes into your ba- uh, bank account, but there's also a social currency like shit yeah. that money can't buy. You having uh you know Influence. a million followers or whatever it could open the door for shit that money ca- cannot buy. So. Um, bro, I just been soaking it in, bro. Just life is good. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and it's also like, cause, cause beyond just the money, it's like, okay, what good can you actually put into the world? 
Because I think that's why a lot of these people who are like, you have all the money, like what's the point of it, right? It's like, okay, what can you teach? What can you give? What can you show? What do you really believe? Like same reason why you kind of like, I want a family. Yeah. He's like, you put that into your, your child. You yeah. Can put this into the world in a way where like people can, like I said, that guy from watching me since he was 15, he's 26 now. He, he, he tried to tell me how much I inspired him and how much I'm a big part of this thing that he did which he did completely uniquely away from me, right? Yeah. But he must have saw some stuff that I did that made him feel like he could do these things. And that's the real benefit here. And the biggest benefit of the whole internet in general is like empowering people to believe they could do something that they prior maybe didn't believe. Like, cause for example, so much, like so many strength sports, so many sports in general, like people don't think something's possible until they see someone else do it. Yeah, so the more yeah, that you see these possibilities in, in other people, the more that you go, oh, I could take it to this level, to this level, to yeah. this level. And it's just human nature to like continue to try to one up the person before you. So it's mm -hmm. like if we could put out now good, good stuff to the world, like to these kids, because like you're going to have a whole new generation of kids watch you. They watch mm -hmm. you now. Yeah. Even then watch you then. And it's like, OK, yeah, you can make some co funny content, some good content. Right. What good can you add, though? That, that's what and I encourage to you. And out. I think I think Aiden kind of started going towards that. Yeah. Like, what good can you add beyond just like this just being some roasting shit? No, nah, man, man, I hear you, man. And like, you know, um, looking at like to self reflect, like I'm definitely not doing enough. I'm not giving the world enough. I'm not like I don't think I've done enough to like like just be a good person and like just how people give away money and shit i mean if you if you compare yourself to someone like a mr beast drum that like if that fool makes like 10 mil he'll literally put the 10 mil back into his business and yeah. give it to people and do you know what i'm saying so i mean i'm sitting here and i yeah dude i'm not doing shit like i'm not doing enough as far as get, giving back but uh you know, I'm going to think about that. And, yeah. I mean, I'm not either, man. I need to be better as well. Like, right, I want right. to, I want to, I'm talking even, not even just so much on the strictly financial thing. I'm talking about like just in the content that you make, being, being aware of like, not that you don't want to be like, okay, I'm not going to do lame shit. Cause it's like, it's not going to be funny, but adding some sort of scent to your content right. that is like, okay, there's more value here than just like some slapstick shit. No, in fact, I am a, a, like older now. And so I've been uh, like just in and out of just experiences and stuff. So I have been sharing uh, experiences and uh, just try to motivate people. I, th I, th I think it's normal to feel sad and normal to like be down. I feel like when I was happy all the time, happy all the time, like everything's good. Like no one can really relate to that. It's like fucking fake. Like bro. no one's really happy all the time. Fuck you, no. Like no you one. feel me? So now that I'm like, I feel like more down to earth, like more humble and more human. Like I feel like people can relate more. And honestly, they they. I mean, my, my, like my whole life is on the internet. So uh, people have been able to see my mistakes and the growth and stuff. And uh, man just life is fucking long and scary like shit's gonna just keep happening shit's gonna keep yeah. changing and we go see what happens bro we go see what it's happens bless you know it's funny the one of the i was talking to a friend of mine and, and one of the most significant things someone ever said to me was uh you know because everyone says life is short right life is the longest thing we'll ever know dude right i hear that all the time life is short life is short but there's nothing is. else we'll ever experience this longer than our life yeah and and if there's something that we haven't done like let's say we want to do something and we just don't do it months pass and pass and pass instead instead of being down I'm like damn i still haven't started well you can start now because all you have is time and even exactly. if you start in a year even if you start in five years we, hey, we still got time like we just got all this time I and mean, obviously i mean god forbid some crazy shit happens a knock on wood or some shit but you know if you take care of yourself and you don't put yourself in the craziest situations then uh you know i should live to like 150 or some shit. you'll probably be like yeah i mean asians be living forever <laughs> like you'll live forever dude man, that's what i want man you know some days i'd be like on some suicide shit i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but <laughs> whoa, i do whoa, whoa, no, 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 no no it's just like bro i just be on and off like, i'd be like damn bro i want shit to end but no realistically like bro i want to live for a long time because Wait, you are you you're not serious no 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 i'm not i'm not okay what the fuck no life is good bro life is good Life yeah. is good. Hold on, let me go piss really quick. Yeah, Fuck. I thought you were joking about the suicidal shit. You kind of threw me off. No, nah, no. Nah, I just be on and off, man. All right, guys. Quick interrupt to the podcast. Green Chef. Now, if you guys have been like, yo, I don't know which food I should get, how I should cook it, et cetera, et cetera, Green Chef is there for you. It's really simple. 
super convenient and easy. Basically what it does, this is a, this is a meal delivery service where they send you the ingredients. They show you exactly like basically how to cook it. And you, it's, it's cool because it allows you to create variation in your meal plan. So if you like, for example, want to have whatever this meal is and you want to leave this ingredient out, then you can just like not include it. Right. But they give you all the tools. So someone like me, for example, I don't necessarily really like going to the grocery store just in general. So it's really helpful to have everything sent to me so I can prepare my meals without having to like, you know, go and pick this and get that, get that. So they make it really easy for you. It's also dope because it's going to allow you to pick like if you if you're like if it's vegan, if it's keto, if it's if it's like vegetarian, they have all those options for you based on whatever your current diet is or whatever you want it to be. Right. So there's all that variation for you to choose from as well. And also at the same time, it's super convenient and easy. It's also customizable. So if you're like, OK, you, you let's say one week you had these this meal with like these ingredients. You're like, OK, I want this meal with these ingredients. You can just go log in, basically put in your information, pick the ones you want the way you want it. And it's very, very convenient. So if you guys have been figuring out, OK, I, I want to diet like this, but, you know, I don't know what ingredients to pick. They'll do it all for you. Make it super simple. All right. So give Green Chef a shot. Go to greenchef.com slash raw talk 60 and put in code raw talk 60 to get 60 percent off your first order go give it a shot you guys like i promise you 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 like i really gotta i want you guys to understand this eating if you're talking about getting to a goal like fitness related wise if you're not eating what you need to be eating to get to that goal you're gonna fail every time like and you're gonna go in circles and it's gonna bug you so go to greenchef.com slash raw talk 60 put in code raw talk 60 to get 60 percent off your first order let's get back into this podcast so obviously on the on the on the idea life is good uh, yeah. what do you look forward to the most now yeah um trying to see uh just sound like family was one of them yeah oh, we're gonna do that like i'm gonna get a kid and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna live it out with my girl <laughs> Like I like my girl and shit, so that's gonna be good. Just no stress, and just I'm just excited to see the older me and like w what that looks like. And also, yeah. I, I have a year of streaming, so I want to see at the end of the year like what happens, like all the crazy clips and all the crazy moments that we have. But uh, bro, I'm just not that. I just I don't have much going on, bro. Just stream, then live, then go <laughs> to sleep. You know, whatever. But just the uh, just live streaming. I mean just work bro that's just all it is and shit like that but not and we talked about some good shit about uh you know just being on the phone too much and just life and happiness and shit like that so i like i like the conversation we we had it open my eyes and shit you know you're you being in your 30s and shit like you know i can take what you say and you know what i mean yeah I, I just got a lot from what we were talking about and shit like that yeah well i appreciate you coming on man genuinely nah, for sure man for um, sure Fucking, I, I honestly, I don't think this is like just the, I don't think you're going to do it for you. I feel like you're going to continue to go on and on. Yeah, no, I mean, like I can't, I came back, right? So when I did leave a part of me, I was like, damn, I don't know if I'm going to come back. But now that I am back and if I were to leave again, but I'm just going to always come back and always come back because it is fun, bro. The internet is fun and we like, it's, it's, I feel like sometimes we focus on like the bad, you know what I mean, of the internet, but there's a lot of good in the internet. And even yeah. like when we watch movies and shit, like in a movie, there's always conflicts. Like it doesn't just, it's not one just straight path. Like, there, like, like uh, there's always ups and downs, but in the end, everything works out. And so I'm just hoping my movie is like that where, you know, oh, there's ups and downs, but in the end, everything works out and we yeah. beat the boss or we beat the villain or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then everything goes good you know shit like that but yeah, yeah. for sure I, bro yeah i appreciate you coming um subscribe to the channel wait do we have any questions uh, yeah. so at the end of every episode if you guys are here you guys made it ask for talk at gmail.com um you guys send us your questions that i'll answer with myself and the guest um hopefully jacob he's, he's gonna fucking open his laptop right now he's acting like i don't ask him this every fucking time yeah, no, but we didn't get questions really yeah. you don't have any questions for the boy yeah, do you have any questions? Audience questions, basically. So listen, askrawtalk at gmail.com. You can submit your questions. I'll answer them with the guest at the end of every episode. Um, we had it run in the beginning, and you know we kind of fell off. Kind of, I guess, like fucking rice <laughs> fell off and then came back on. That's type of shit, that's type of shit. Uh, it happens, though. Oh, okay. Uh, it says, greetings from Germany. How does the personal life of the crew affect the content, and how much does the content affect the crew's personal life? Oh. Shit. Is that like that sounds serious? like a one did you send that email? No. <laughs> nah, so you talk about like people nah. around you, how does it affect the content? I guess that could apply like to Like it's all too. about mood, right? Like on on the content, you wanna be your happiest self, you wanna be high energy, you wanna be just your best version of yourself, and some days you might not feel that way. So 
that might yeah. affect your content like, like oh dude, i'm feeling kind of low energy today I and mean, it sucks being a creator bro you like you have to be like this happy like person with high energy and shit and like so, some days you just don't feel like doing that shit so yeah i'm sick of all that fake shit boy yeah i mean essentially th- which makes it really interesting because it's not always what you think like what you see on the yeah, internet it's, it's like there might be a moment where someone's just really is not about it, but like they know like to show up in that way on camera, like they have to kind of show up that way, which is why also too, I like to live stream stuff so much. And I, I really actually want to start streaming yeah, you should, more bro. You because should. like, it's just a hundred percent unfiltered. It's just literally this. So unfiltered. And I think that's why I also think that's why streamers and I, cause I wanted to ask you about this. Like, why do you think streamers and I'll jump in too, but I think that's why they're so, they have such a, yeah. So like obviously they're so successful but why people really gravitate towards them is right. because it's like you know that that motherfucker is that motherfucker yeah and they're spending like five hours plus or you know however many hours yeah even if they're there for an hour and a half they're like oh i see because there's no edits dude and that's more than like a youtube video or whatever no but the podcast shit is pretty personal too like they can sit there yeah. and hear you for hours and hours. i'm sure people know how you are and shit. I'm yeah. 250 type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 260, 260, but yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> Wait, on the right path. Is it exactly 260 or some days it's like 258? No, 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 no. Because I, I posted that as a troll because I knew that like, it'd be funny if I was like, wait, I'm losing my powers because I was like just under 260. Uh, uh, but no, so so yeah, obviously some days I'm like 258, 255 even. Uh, before you were water. 260, were you like, that's where I want to be? Like you've been chasing. Me as a person? Yeah, yeah. Like that, like like when you were 220, were you like, I need to get to 260? No, no, no I no, never no. had a number in mind. I was just like, I just want to get bigger. And then I got bigger Yeah. and was like, oh, this is dope. And then like I started kind of settling. My body kind of settled around like, 250 to 260 over the last few years it just kind of it's easy for me to maintain that depending right. on how much i'm eating or how much i'm not eating right so i'm 144 now what, what do you think would be good steroids no no no, no. like weight wise <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. weight wise well shit yo I no i'm kidding i'm fully kidding i'm fully kidding no it's low-key mad normalized now i'm seeing on tiktok everyone, i know but is, do you think it's a good thing i don't know if that's on a good that sh- thing. i don't know man maybe if i'm older it might take some testosterone or some shit right? that's what i'm saying because the problem is like I, I like that it's more normalized but at the same time like you're gonna have a lot of people who are gonna like hear this and be like oh it's normal i'm just gonna do it and it's like yo yeah. what kind of like purpose are you doing it with like are you looking into how much you should or shouldn't be taking like yeah. some people just willy-nilly do shit you right. know so that's why it's a little bit it's interesting because it is way more normalized but it can also just be like a double-edged sword for a lot right. of people but you think i should get like 160 or something or 170 or what's like a good your body weight yeah like what is I'm, your weight right now i'm 6'1 140 you definitely Four, to like, 144 you gotta be like 180 at least really you should be like at least 200 that's a thing at least 200 is crazy because because then imagine like because like you're tall you're not a yeah, short you're yeah. not short thank you thank so it's you. like you got to be able to defend yourself you're right bro I'm what if bradley martin pulled up on you got his hands on you i got that pepper spray on me yeah. no that's good that's good no but no thank you for having me bro and yeah. um you know fire pot and shit you know just just yeah. was venting to bro and shit it was like a therapy session this whole yeah, shit. yeah you're awesome man no, i, I think you. i think you have a lot more years coming i think you're gonna continue to blow up for sure thank you my guy thank i'm glad you. you're back on the on the fucking internet for sure bless Appreciate up, bless you, up. thanks for coming yes sir yeah. yes sir